Hello my friends, Suljin here. Welcome back to another episode of the Cobblestone Chronicles. So today, um, the audio is probably going to sound a little bit different because I'm using my Blue Yeti. I apologize if you hear any ambient noises. My Logitech G35 headset is not responding to the computer. Uh, yeah, it's not that beautiful of a thing here. What do you want, zombies? I'm busy. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit this morning too. I have no armor on. Oh no, I do have armor. Suckers just hit like trucks. <laughs> so I cleared out this area last time. Um, well, between the last time I recorded and now. And I set up a little rail station. This is just a typical uh, rail station that uh, you've probably seen in all the other nether tunnels around. This is a, a little bit different for me. I'm, I'm, I used to do rail systems all the time, but the old style rail systems. And... Uh, this one is definitely, definitely much more automated than I'm used to. <clears throat> it bases off a simple process. You stand on this pressure plate. Sorry about that. You stand on this pl pressure plate and it basically dispenses a cart. This cart leads all, all the way down because it is detector rail. This track just flips around and it goes all the way down to my nether gate. Now, uh, when you come back from the nether gate, it just leads right into this cactus, which will... Um, just breaks the cart and drops it into the hopper system that loads it right back in the dispenser. So it's a pretty neat thing. So I'm working on this so I can get uh, rapid transit back and forth to the nether hub. And there's a few things that I want to do uh, in the hallway today. I have been doing a little bit around the estate. Um, mostly just some time consuming busy work. I uh, wanted to start implementing some of the pods all which I'm out. So I did stop. I was planning on doing much more than that. Uh, but all of these trees, I'm just doing pots all around them just to kind of give it um, that that feel, you know, <laughs> more more of a woodsy feel. And I've also implemented some of it in my pig pen, which it looks terrific. This is this is exactly what I would think that mud would look like in Minecraft or that's supposed to look like. So um, it did a good thing right there. And the last but not least thing, we got some yard ornaments. <laughs> I feel like... I'm in a, a bad part of town and there's just a bunch of junk in the lawn. So I had asked Wooly Creeper, well I I'd, I'd mentioned in one of my episodes actually about a block swapper and uh, Wooly Creeper came and built something that's the block swapper. Now this basically just trades out, there's a um, an example of an evening dawn pulsar right here and basically what happens is when that daylight sensor um, toggles it sends a redstone signal that would activate this or a series of these and it would swap the block so <clears throat> excuse me where you see this glowstone block it would trade it out to the to the dirt and then the next evening or dawn that would come by it would it would retract the dirt and put the glowstone back so pretty neat deal well Ormitage saw it and he decided to make something slightly simpler more compact design and uh, this is it and Wooly one upped him one last time and did this. Now, naturally, this button would be connected to uh, the evening dawn pulsar, like he said, uh, but pretty simple process. So they would just trade out like that when the day night cycle would, would transition. So, probably going to implement some of these around for light uh, sooner or later. I do want to <laughs> take these down eventually, but uh, I'm going to definitely have to use uh, this as an example because I'm not that gifted in redstone. I've also been um, messing around a little bit with bone meal in the back area here, and it's a bit too overgrown. I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, a lot of trim work to this, but I just wanted to make it a little bit more woodsy outside where there wasn't um, actual roads. I'm actually thinking about changing the roads to something else as well, probably pods all. I don't think I'm going to do gravel, but. Uh, the beach scene, I'd like it to go a little bit more woodsy, so I might keep the front road uh, sand, just not too sure yet. But today, we're mainly going to be working on the little tunnel that I have set aside here because I really do need that transit system. It's something that I've been needing to do for a while. So I guess what we need to do is uh, make a roof on it right quick, and I'm also probably going to need to sleep. I'm lonely on the server today, it's only me. Um, the new Hypermind server is currently being tested and it may actually have already been um, been opened up for the modded server. We decided to go with the custom pack, which, uh, which is what we did last time. There was quite a bit of debate over it, but I think for the most part, 
uh, everybody's going to be happy with the, the the new pack. So, but enough about that. We'll go into that. I'll probably be doing some live streaming from there instead of regular episodes. Um, so, what I need to do here is just kind of fill in a few things. And once I fill in, I'm going to also need... See, I don't know what to do here. I thought about doing maybe an entrance type deal, but... Um, I don't know. It's <laughs> the cactus will not grow when there is a, a brick right there. So I'm not exactly sure what to do about that. I guess I should come around all the way here and just make it look uniform. That's probably the best thing to do. Uh, the entrance is going to be on this side, so I can go ahead and not put these. And I don't want this to be a large building simply because it's on right in front of the house and I don't want it to overshadow anything that's real aesthetic like that. But we definitely need to put some more uh, greenhouses into effect. Now that we've got the new plants and stuff, uh, I definitely need to go around and do some more collecting. Uh, Woolly Creeper's got a, um, a flower farm set up for the two talls and that is just a great idea. I don't want to set up a form, I just want it to be au natural. <laughs> He's more the technical side thing, so I will be doing some stuff, but this area right here is going to be a lot of that. Just some flower beds, maybe a little fountain feature. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna put here yet, uh, but this little train station is not gonna be too overshadowing. So, I thought about doing um, all of the stone brick up as a frame and then doing a roof out of the half slaps but I actually think I'm gonna do that differently what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all half slabs for the frame and then I'm gonna use um, some sort of stair brick for the roof I'm probably gonna use either the stair brick or I'm gonna use I mean the stone brick stairs or one of the wood ones I, I'd like to see what dark oak and nether uh, brick uh, stairs do for it so I'm going to go ahead and frame this up and then I'll pull you back in when I'm going to start on the roof. Stay tuned, I'll be back. Alright, so here's the design that I have thus far. Uh, relatively simplistic, although it does kind of resemble what uh, kind of a subway station would look like. Even though this is in kind of the woods, I'm going to have to dress it up with a little bit of landscaping on the outside, but I want it to be uniform with the surroundings even though I want it to look like a train station so if that's gonna be at all possible this is gonna be it come to think of it over here where my pig pins at I'm probably gonna replace those stone brick stairs uh, with some sort of wooden stairs or something else so I could get in and out of my pig pin or just take it down altogether because not the pig pin just the stairs because I don't really need to access it that often so I think I'm going to go with stained glass on the inside here. I thought about doing arches, but there's really no way to do arches and implement glass. And I want to be able to protect it from mobs if I'm just in here, uh, even though there's plenty going to be plenty of light. But the first thing that I need to do before that is put a little roof on it. Now, I uh, guess I'm going to use quartz. Quartz seems like it would be a... Um, I don't have much of it, and I haven't implemented much of it, but I think it would be a good... A good roof so from here this is the top layer so I won't be able to go here uh, I mean this is the bottom layer so I would almost need to start I guess from the inside let's see how I could do that if I started like that yeah I think that would be good because I want it to just be kind of a steeple not real high or anything um, let's see, let me do an inner perimeter with dirt blocks, or grass blocks, just so I could have something to put the actual blocks against. There we go. All right. Now I can go, oh, that's not what I want to do. These things are so easy to break. They're actually one of the most perfect building materials. They're good looking. They're very, very easy to break. You can even break this stuff with your hands, I believe. But man, they are expensive. I think I'm gonna be short a few, which I do have a little bit more of these blocks. Let's go down right quick and make some. Let's see. Oh, I need more than four. 
Uh, actually, I should be able to get away with exactly perfect. <laughs> Alright, but I am going to need some for the middle too. So, I don't know how much of this I'm going to need. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be enough. Pretty sure. Can I combine these to make full blocks again? No, it comes out to be chiseled. Okay, well, it's been a while. <laughs> Alright, let's go back up. Not with a minecart, preferably. Okay. So now, if I would do... Let's see, I'm going to need 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 to do this. I don't have enough quartz to do that. I do not. I might have to go get some. But, let's see. Actually, I could probably get away with some half slabs too. I don't know. Let's do... If I did stairs in the corner. Like this. I don't think it would line up the way I'm thinking it will. Maybe. But I doubt it. If I put blocks here and here, no, it's not going to do that. So I do need to put stairs no matter what. Hmm. See, that's the shape that I want, ultimately. Yep. I'm definitely going to need some more quartz. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go dig a little bit in the nether, get some quartz, and uh, when I come back, we'll finish up the roof. Stay tuned, I'll be back. Alrighty, back with a load of quartz, and the tunnel's still looking pretty shabby. I'm definitely going to have to do some construction too. They actually put under construction on my, uh, my nether tunnel because it, it, it is. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I need to decorate it in there. But for the most part, this works pretty well. See how that works? I like it. The automation is nice. Okay, so now that we have quartz blocks, let's do a little bit of stair making. There we go. And I guess I want to do... Let's do... Yeah. Now I should have enough. I think I should have enough. No, that's only eight. I think I need probably two more like this. I know I'm all over the place. All right, go back up and finish this up. Right, and I think one more ought to do. One more layer. Oop. Actually, I'll need nine for this. No, I'll have enough. Eight. I thought about the middle, but... Okay, and I think just a normal quartz slab ought to do on the top. Just to give it like, I won't say a point, but a tip, a summit. <laughs> Why not use an epic word, huh? Okay, now I gotta clean up all my scaffolding. All right, that looks pretty good. I like the way that looks. I hope I didn't just clog up my uh, my system right here. I probably did. Well, it's supposed to di dispense quartz. Let's see what dispenses. Yep. <laughs> Dirt. Alright, now it's empty. So I can stand to put a few quartz in there now. I guess what I'll do is make some stained glass now. Um, I don't know what color stained glass to use. Let's go see what kind of dyes I have. Also need to do some sort of door here. I think I'm going to do an iron door. But I'm not sure. Uh, I do need to get some sort of solid 
Now I thought about doing a piston door right here, but I'm really not going to have room for it. Maybe I should just use the quartz that I got. Uh, yeah, that ought to do it. And I can put a door right there. Yeah, I think that'll look cool. Or, ooh, no, let's use the glass blocks. Not regular glass, either stained glass. Let's go see what kind of stained glass we can make. I don't, I don't even know what it looks like. I know what the blue and stuff looks like, which was a really, really nice color. But I'm thinking more on the lines of a white stained glass would probably be better. So... I think I have bone meal, or I should have bone meal. And that is going to allow me to dye it white. I got glass blocks right here, okay. And I got bone meal right here. Let's see what this looks like. I'm pretty sure I'll be happy with the result. White stained glass. Okay. Let's go take a look at it. I love new blocks. <laughs> All right. White stained glass. Yeah, this is going to complement the quartz really, really well, actually, I believe. Okay, so I'll need to take out the middles here, which is no biggie. Yeah, I like the way that looks a lot. And, you know, I thought about doing panes, but these are supposed to be walls, kind of, you know, it's just designed to keep the mobs out. All right, now I'm actually going to need to go in here <laughs> and, uh, and take off some of those uh, inside blocks because they're going to need to be glass. I hope. This doesn't do anything to the cactus, no. Uh-oh. It's okay. Silk touch, baby. Let's do the rest of these. Ouch. Hey. From down below, huh? You sucker. I need to go up, light that up so much. It's dangerous. Alright, I'm gonna need a little bit more of that beautiful glass. I wonder if I have bone meal here. I do. Well, bones. Look at the arrows in my head, man. Bone meal. There we go. Alright. That should be enough, hopefully. It's turning dark, so I'd like to get it finished. There's some more bones I could use. Oh! I thought I, I, thought I dropped something in my, my door hopper system again. Okay. See the block's kind of tripping out right there. Eight. Okay, and I still need some for this doorway. Hmm. Might be able to get away with something here. And we can do... Wonder what... No, I still need to do glass. Yeah, I need a few more glass. Any glass in here? Only panes. It's not what I need. I need to sleep too before the mobs get too close for me to sleep. Let's do that right quick. Beautiful. Okay. Need more glass. More glass, sir. Uh, that's those light blue stained panes that I had caught when we were exploring those new biomes. Uh, there we go. I could also put some of this up, I believe, just to give me a little bit of breathing room. Okay. Oh, wrong way, actually. <laughs> Alright. Eight ought to do it. 
I don't want to do overkill because, well, just because glass takes time to make, and I don't know if I'll use much, much more white one. All right. So now all I need is a little iron door. I think I have iron. Possibly negative. I do not have iron. Let's go grab some right quick. I hope the keyboard clicks aren't driving you crazy. I really need to get a shock mount and a boom for my mic because right now it's on my desk and even though I have like some shock absorbers on it on the bottom or aka sponges <laughs> I know that uh, I know that you still hear the vibrations okay we got a few iron I believe I have iron up, up top should let's see no no iron here I could have sworn I had iron what did I do with it all? Uh, I bet you I dumped it when I was... Yeah, no. That's one. I'm so unorganized. I built a nice storage facility and I don't even use it properly. There we go. Iron, baby. Okay. Let's get a little door made up. Alright. And I'm also going to need... I should probably do, you know, I'm not worried about the mobs coming in, so I can do a pressure plate. Let's see. I don't have any smooth stone on me. Oh, I know where I got some smooth stone. I just saw it. I only need a couple, so it'll be fine. There we go. We'll do two. That way we can do two pressure plates. Perfect. All right, one more trip and we should be good. I think my dog is snoring. <laughs> well, that's the life, sleep all day long. Actually, it's not much of a life when you think about it, but. Okay, so iron door here and yeah. I'm thinking about changing my texture pack back because this was from some old builds that I used to do. Okay, so we can change out. It's an iron barred door, but it does look a little out of place with the uh, with the rest of the stuff. Actually, on these builds, it doesn't look that bad, but I think more traditional would probably be better in the long run. Okay, there we go. And this is going to need to be, let's see here, we'll do, let's do a stone brick right here so we can actually have the pressure plate on top of it. And then we can do, I guess that looks all right. Not really, huh? Probably need stairs all around that sucker. And I don't think I have enough to do it. I do not have enough to do it. Oh, I did it again. Come on. All right. And two stairs in the corners there will do what I need. Uh, man. I was wrong. Still need another trip. It's tight in there too, isn't it? All right, I may have, yeah, I got some stone bricks right here, so I don't have to go all the way back. Good. Trying not to waste too much materials here. Not waste, but overproduce. Okay. There we go. Stair, stair. All right, that's good. Now I could just hop right down here and dispense my little cord, which, do I have it only, even? Huh, I wonder where the cord went. I know I took it back here. 
Oh well, I guess I can make another one. Oh, I need to take this back too. I'm gonna put that in there somewhere, I believe. That way if I ever needed four quarts. Uh, let's see. We'll put it in right here. And let's make our little court. We'll have to do a few of them actually. But right now we'll just do one. We go get some iron. Okay. So court goes into the dispenser. Stand on the plate. Take the court. And away we go. Yeah. Next step, I guess, is decorating this puppy. But uh, we'll save that for next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you next one. This is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.